Hey, hey, Taurus, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Taurus, I am getting an energy here of busyness, maybe feeling at times pulled in 20 different directions. It may even feel very chaotic at times throughout the month of June. I just feel like you have a lot going on. I'm getting a very busy body energy, possibly even chariot or eight of wands, which are the two fastest energies in tarot. So it wouldn't surprise me to see those showing up in your reading today. This could also be a really good month for you to relax if things have been very chaotic. So however you're showing up in the reading today, if things have been a little bit slow, sluggish, stagnant, there could be a big shift in energy coming in that does feel like things are picking up pace. So you may be wanting to get your running shoes on. Now, if you've been very, very busy, this could be a really great month for you to relax a little bit. I am getting saying yes when you mean yes and no when you mean no is going to be important. And I'm also getting here time management. Okay. Bottom of the deck, bottom of the debt, I almost said bottom of the debt. Uh, we see the debt card and this is about you paying off some debts that maybe you had, karmic debts. This could be learning some lessons of the past, right? There's been some big changes I see. Some of you are closing the door on a situation or an energy that wasn't allowing you to get ahead. That's what I feel here. Something was not allowing you to get ahead and that may have manifested as a tower moment. Some of you may have lost a job, okay, because we do have the unemployment. Some of you may have felt like debt was spiraling because of some sort of loss. But I feel like, and look at that, the devil showing up right away. So again, I feel like there's a new beginning coming in for you that's going to allow you to feel more vitality. I'm getting sun energy. So let's, let's hope that, okay, there's the fool. Beautiful. I mean, there is the sun up there in the, the mountains in the background. This is a strong energy around new beginnings, embracing the unknown. And we actually see that happening here in the eggs as well. So I see what you're manifesting, but at the same time, there could be a little bit of toxic thinking or limiting beliefs that could be holding you back with that devil because there's the death again. We also see the death in the coffin. So endings and new beginnings is your key theme. And some of you, you want to start over, but you feel like it's been months and months and months that you've been in this cocooning death energy. So let's see where else this goes. I'm getting three or four. Okay. Okay. Three or four could be how long you've been in this process. Maybe it's weeks, maybe it's months. For some of you, it's years. Look at that. We have the four showing up here in the recent past. We have the eight of cups coming in. So you are moving towards wish fulfillment here. You're coming to the end of a cycle. There's a nine. So we're moving upwards. Let's see here. Environment, there's the nine again, but it's the good nine. Nine of coins. Not that the nine of cups or excuse me, nine of wands is necessarily bad, but it does mean that we're feeling a little drained at times or feeling defeated. Uh, we just want to move forward, but here you are. That's that eight of wands I was picking up on earlier. So there is that busyness. There's momentum, there's speed. That's in your hopes and fears. So things are going to change. I'm getting changing rapidly for you. Taurus, this could be one of the busiest months of June uh, or of 2024. June could be one of the busiest months for you, or it is the most impactful regarding change. But I feel like it's good. We don't see a tower. You're releasing anxiety. Look at that. The third nine. So the only nine that we don't see here, nine of, is the nine of cups, which 
You're going to get there soon enough because there you are. Eight of cups is the potential. So you're ending a cycle of anxiety or financial distress. Some of you are in a toxic environment because we do have the toxicity card. But let's dive in before I get too far ahead of myself here. You have the butterfly. Taurus, this is about sudden changes that may have occurred in your past. This is the past position as well. And this is about frivolous spending, taking a look at your spending. I almost feel like you're telling yourself something ended so I can't be frivolous or I can't live the lifestyle I was living or you wanted to make some big changes in your life so you could live a life where you didn't have to worry about you know, living paycheck to paycheck or where your food's going to come from. Or I just feel like there's a short term energy that you have endured, but it feels like it's been very spaced out. But again, three or four. So whether that's three to four weeks, three to four months, or I mean years, but there is something with those two numbers showing up or even March or April could have been significant the third or the fourth month. Maybe you went through a temporary job. There was some changes in how you showed up for your job. Maybe you felt like it lost its creative touch here, but this is about movement, okay? So movement is a part of what's coming into play for you in the month of June. And this is the present energy, the eggs, starting over, saving up. This is resources, accumulating more abundance to add to that nest egg. Some of you may be in healthcare, maybe insurance. This does talk of new opportunities for growth, for expansion. I'm also getting, because I've seen the book card at the bottom, some of you may even be taking some classes to level up and have a new beginning in your career, in your field, your line of work. So maybe an extra certification or an extra license uh, going back to school. Maybe you are the one that is launching some online classes or products here. Whatever you're doing, you're putting an end to an old way of thinking. And this is going to allow you to expand in a brand new direction because the coffin card says that you have gone through financial challenges, right? You've been working on your savings. We see the four of coins in the recent past, and this is about saving, saving for, you know, a home, saving for retirement, and some of you being a little tight with your money so you can go off and maybe build your business or save up for something within your business. This can be a job ending, and for those of you that did go through some sort of unemployment, which we see here, or you've ended uh, a business or something that wasn't fulfilling you, um, you do have the devil. So I feel like this was toxic, okay? I feel like this is what's coming to an end. Someone that you worked with that could have been toxic is either leaving the job or the that company or you are. Okay, I feel like something is coming to an end that was uh, very difficult for you here. Now again, bottom of the deck, we do have the eggs, but right behind it, we have the pendulum. So I still feel like there's a little bit of that back and forth. Maybe the beginning of June, you are strategizing. This could be the change of the seasons. Now, I'm not quite sure when we roll into uh, summer uh, here in the, the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern, uh, what date that is. But I feel like there is something here with the seasonal changes. Uh, maybe June, July, August is going to be a very significant month for you when it does come to starting over. And you may feel, again, like you're making choices that are going to help you. I feel in the moment but also you may not realize how much this change in the moment is going to affect you down the road for the better is what I'm picking up on. And look at this, you guys, that's that spiral out of control, uh, feeling like things are chaotic or busy, but you're actually climbing up out of that. This is an upward trend, okay? Connections, maybe even revisiting a job or getting a promotion. This is a new beginning based on a new frequency, a new energy. So yeah, things are definitely going to to start picking up here for you, but in a good way. It's like the, the wheel of fortune spinning in the, the good direction after possibly feeling some setbacks. Now we have here justice. Whew. Some of you may have been dealing with some legal issues or an act of injust, injustice here. 
someone was unethical, immoral, maybe we're even dealing with some sort of harassment. Yeah, manipulation, coercion, lies. I don't love that energy, but because we have the devil starting you off here, this could be some sort of, yeah, some something that wasn't fun, some sort of toxicity that kept you in this cycle. But I feel like you're removing yourself from it or there's like a final verdict here that allows you to get moving in a new direction. Some of you may even work in the justice system here. This says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. You may even be a counselor, Taurus. Uh, you heal with your kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. I also see that some of you, if you dealt with a situation that brought a lot of imbalance into your life, a lot of toxicity, I mean, some of you could really benefit from, you know, talking to someone about this situation. I'm getting uh, like someone who can counsel you. It may not be a therapist type of counselor. I mean, it could be for some of you, but I also feel like this is like legal counsel or it could be financial counsel of some sort, or this is what you do. Now you have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Some of you are dealing with some family uh, stuff at this time, or you may be embracing a more family lifestyle where you're able to work from home, work remotely, maybe spend a little more time with your family, or this is a goal. This is what you want to walk towards. You do have, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. And the eight of cups is a card of paths. It is a, a portal of new opportunities. And this is what we see showing up. So for those of you that have questions, am I on the right path at all? Do I need to do something differently? I feel like We'll talk about the uh, mental mind blocks or any sort of blocks here in your reading, but I feel like you are on the right path, but there could be a tad bit of a delay when it comes to the new beginning because you may still be hanging on to something. That may be the block. And Spirit is saying, let go. Easier said than done, I know. But it says, walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So if this is a situation at work and you're not able to just up and quit, right? You need something else locked down. It's important to maybe take some time off or, you know, get out of the energy because it's hard to come up with new solutions when we're stuck so close to it or we're enmeshed so much into it. It may be important for you just to disconnect because we see what your goal is. You want to have a new start and a new beginning, but I do feel like you've been dealing with people who've been a little bit hard to handle. Now we have unemployment for those of you needing a job. Okay, we do have that there's been maybe some unexpected expenses showing up here for you. And I feel like these unexpected expenses, maybe that was part of the justice where the counseling could be financial counsel or talking to someone where you can start a payment plan or you're able to double up and... I, I'm just getting that this is going to be taken care of, okay? Or something, there could even be some sort of financial support or financial help that allows you to, I don't know, skip a payment or it can, it, it'll help you in some way, shape, or form if you do have some sort of expense. It could be a medical for some of you. You see the stethoscope there. So maybe it's a medical expense. Uh, we do have the euro here. So some of you could certainly be, uh, you know, receiving some, I'm getting payback, okay, payback for maybe an expense that you could have doubled up on. That's what that doubling up is. So yeah, because look at this, you also have a uh, payday showing up. So you may have paid something twice. Now, maybe you're aware of that or not, or maybe that's what you've been fighting. Like, hey, I paid into that twice. Can I get that amount back? And they're, they're telling you, no, it'll just get, you know, compounded. But I feel like uh, there will be money coming in if it's owed to you or if you've paid too much. Now, payday could also mean you, you were dressing to impress here and you got the job, okay? And there is new money coming in for you. And then lastly, we also have vacation. So June, on top of the busyness of what's going on around you, I feel like there certainly could be some time out for you. Uh, there could be 
maybe the busyness is because you're preparing or getting ready for some sort of trip or move or vacation. Some of you could even be moving offices or relocating to a new office is what I'm picking up on. All right, let's dive into the tarot. The devil card showing up is not letting attachments, not letting materialism, maybe codependence. Uh, the devil energy can be anything that holds us to this very physical material plane. And it keeps us from manifesting, <clears throat> excuse me, at times because it, it holds us back. And that's what spirit is saying, let go of. So whatever this devil energy is for you, it could be toxicity, it could be addictions, it could be patterns, negative beliefs. It can be us overindulging even. You see that she looks like she's been staying up for seven days in a row and she hasn't quite, you know, went home and ate properly and showered and got ready for work. She may be going on a bender. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself this month, Taurus, with that devil energy showing up. Now I'm also getting with the devil, <clears throat> this can be obsessions and fear-based energy. And that can be what we need to work on releasing or finding more maybe mindfulness yeah because i feel like you you got into a little bit of that obsessive energy of when am i going to have this new beginning when is that going to work out for me and that allowed you know the fool to come in as a little bit of a challenge and a little bit of a block because when we obsess about something so much or when we have so so much of that fear attached to it it can actually push away the very thing that we want the most and it does look like you really want this new beginning when it comes to finances new abundance or a new raise a new promotion perhaps the certification or you want to you know finish up that book you've been writing or complete a cycle so you can move on to the next because you don't want to be in that hanged man <clears throat> excuse me hanged man turtle type of energy any longer if, if that's where you've been and also, if you have been quite busy, you want to just relax and have fun and play because the fool is a very playful energy. It is about a fearless beginning, fearless versus fearful. And we just talked about that here with the devil. So find your fear and make friends with it is what I'm getting here. Make friends with it. And I feel like you getting close to something or understanding or recognizing where it's coming from, it's actually going to allow you to fear a little bit less instead of feeling the moon energy of uncertainty and uh, deep, deep emotional responses to situations. Now, it's interesting because the only cups energy I see here for you is the eight of cups. So that could be what you are working on releasing is letting go of those cups that have spilt so you can go chasing and getting that ace of cups energy which we have the i thought we had the ace of wands showing up in your reading okay i'm getting ace of wands for you but we have the fool so i like the the beginning below you is some sort of an ending death an ending to a situation an ending to a job or you felt lifeless doing something that you were doing, okay? Some of you, this could have been an ending in your personal life in some way, shape, or form, but it, it rolled out into your career if this wasn't directly a hit to career. And it caused a lot of, of struggle. It caused a lot of tension. And maybe that's why this fear-based energy is showing up with the devil. I mean, that's three major arcanas right off the bat. This isn't something small that you are going through. This was quite life-changing, Taurus, quite significant. And in the recent past, Four of Coins is about hanging on or letting go. So we see that conundrum taking place here. Uh, do I hang on? Do I let go? Do I continue on this path or do I move forward? And because it says you're on the right path here, and for those of you that are questioning, well, Mel, what, what does that path mean? I feel like it's important for you to remove some of these devil layers. Get comfortable or get friendly, maybe not comfortable, but try to get friendly with it, get up close and personal with it and say, okay, I'm peeling back this layer and this layer and this layer. And I see that there has been significant changes here, right? Sudden change 
that broke everything down for you in order for you to build on a strong, stable foundation within you. And you may be fearing what this new beginning looks like and you may be subconsciously, because I'm getting that moon, subconsciously holding yourself back because you may be thinking, well, what if it's not better on that side, right? Or what if this opportunity isn't exactly what I thought? But if you're sitting in that contemplative what if period, I feel like you're just, you're spiraling and that's why you have that spiral card showing up. Spirit is saying it's time. Right? It's time for you to either revisit something. It's time for you to connect. It's time to feel like you're on the upward trend instead of staying stuck right there in that small little dot that you see at the, the middle. It's about kind of coming outward and extending your energy, extending and expanding. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they, they're giving me extension and expansion. So that's interesting. Extension. Okay, there could be some sort of extension that is offered to you. If you have a temporary job, maybe it's extended. Or if there was some sort of deadline, there could be an extension here. And then expansion. It's like go big. Go big, Taurus. Dream big. Because this new beginning is really quite significant coming in for you. All right, what else do we have here? We have... The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is getting stuck in a little bit of a routine. And when we get comfortable with the routine that we are in, that devil comes in and says, well, stay in that routine, right? Stay in that routine because then you're not going to grow and I'm going to have more power over you. But the, the soul self says, I need to switch this up a little bit. I need to go towards my Nine of Cups. But you may be fearing some sort of change. And again, for a lot of you, I do feel like it could even be subconscious. And so you're coming to the end of this cycle. Yeah, you're coming to the end of it because your opportunity is the Eight of Cups to change this routine because you've had enough here. Nine of Wands in your near future says that you can withstand adversity. If a million people applied for this job and you got rejected a million times or if you know you are fighting hard for some sort of a win or a promotion or a raise or you've been training for something here I feel like you are at the very end nine is about completion but you have withstood it all you've gone through it all and you are the one that is breaking free breaking out of some sort of glass ceiling here with the nine of wands now king of swords is coming in Whew. King of Swords, look at that, more justice scale. So there is a situation that was very unfair, very imbalanced, that there's going to bring some law and order in a sense, whether it's universal law and order, uh, energetic law and order, something is getting balanced out for you. And we have the nine of coins. Nine of coins, beautiful. This is an opportunity for victory, for prosperous victory. Nine of coins is an energy of creating a life that you love and a life that you are proud of. So there is a new beginning in your environment in the month of June that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and success in your world. This is pre-Empress. It is saying that if there was yeah, there was a path that you were on that was unfulfilling. It was achievement possibly, but unfulfilled achievements, right? It didn't feel like you were living your purpose or you were with the type of people that, you know, you could grow from, you could thrive from, you could learn with. But I feel like there was a lot of learning that you endured, that you took on as most likely they did as well. But I feel like there is something quite enriching here, an enriching experience coming in. One that does bring you a lot of financial success. I mean, the nine of coins is only one away from that 10 of coins. So even if you're doing this all by yourself, you are going to receive uh, again, expansion and growth and extension. Maybe this is an extension here of yourself. The death card could be a total transformation within you. And I'm getting like extension as in an olive branch. Maybe um, an olive branch is coming your way or you are the one that is 
going all in, accelerating quickly in your hopes and fears, Taurus, we do have the eight of wands. You want to, you know, if you're starting at an entry level or if you're starting with a new company or opening up a new business, whatever new beginnings are coming in for you, you want to accelerate quickly, but we can't spiritually bypass the growth. But at the same time, I feel like there's been some sudden changes that have actually launched you over here and you will grow quite quickly. But other people may look at you and say they they did this to get their way to the top or, you know, they may have been sneaky. I feel like some people could be looking at you as the devil, but you've been doing all the work. And what do I always say? What other people think of you, Taurus, is none of your business, right? A lot of times it's projections or jealousy, or you're the one that's withstanding. You're the one that's, you know, walked your path. Other people haven't walked in your shoes. And with this eight of wands, this is hearing back from someone. It is receiving uh, a, a favorable answer or some form of communication. That's your hope here. Could be travel, relocating, moving, or just an acceleration happening where you're able to feel fulfilled on all levels, financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, and move forward with, uh, with more ease instead of setback after setback. Yeah, getting yourself back on track after whatever loss or death had occurred here. Now your final outcome is accepting that some sort of past trauma had occurred, accepting some sort of ending because when we fully accept, that is the key to letting go, right? Acceptance is so much larger than we give it credit for. And I do feel with this nine of swords, you may have been in that uh, anxiety for quite some time. Anxiety maybe even affected your mental health. I'm getting mental anxiety. Uh, you may have been stuck in that fight or flight, okay? Nine of Swords can be obsessive thoughts, obsessive worries. What if this goes wrong? What if I don't get a job? What if I, I'm homeless? Worst case scenario, right? This is replaying out the worst case, which is worry, right? And that worry, it actually reactivates that post-traumatic stress trigger of being in that situation, right? So we have the feelings that we have felt over and over and over again, whether it's occurred or not, but it prolongs the, the new beginning. And I feel like this is saying, I've accepted something, that's the key, now I'm moving forward. And boom, when you let go, then the magic happens. But it's easier said than done because we live in a very, you know, materialistic, physical, world. That's why we have the pinnacle realm, right? This is about health. It's about body. It's about finances. It is very earthy. And I'm also getting that the stress and uh, anxiety of a situation, you have help coming in. I'm getting the helping hands and I'm getting the heart card. So helping hands and heart. They want me just to find that here for you. Oh, there's the moon that we were talking about earlier. Um, but they're showing me that heart in the hand. So we're just going to take a look because there's the heart. If this hasn't showed up yet, I feel like it will for you by the end of uh, the month. Okay. Uh, so we have the heart. This says joint finances. It's about being supported. This is having a job that you love. That's that nine of pentacles as well. And then we also have... Um, counselor or guide. And I think we got that for you as well. Counselor or guide. Okay. Where's the heart at here, spirit? Okay. Oh, there's the hand. Excuse me. So the hand is manifesting money. Uh, it's about reaching goals, financial assistance, hands-on work or help getting a job. So this is what I see in my mind's eye. These two cards are what I see. And so there's some sort of support coming in that's going to help you. Uh, if you are a counselor or a guide, or again, this is showing up and this makes sense that this was with the heart card because this is about some sort of wise counsel coming your way that could help you move forward here as well. Because this hand, I feel like, is the hand of the divine, the hand of someone else, but it's connecting with yours. So like two energies coming together here. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. Okay, I'm getting hands could be in a company name or maybe you're a daycare provider and your business is called like Little Hands or something like that. Uh, I'm hearing Joe, Joseph, 
Joseph. Okay. All right, we have the yin principle here, card two. And the yin principle is all about receptivity. It's about receiving, which is the opposite of, you know, that action energy that I was picking up on in the very beginning of your reading. So it may be that we need to slow down a little bit or to pause and allow something to manifest. Because if we're taking, you know, so much action and momentum towards something, or, you know, a lot of mental focus, hopefully in the right direction, but because we have the nine of anxiety here, I feel like that could be that mental block and we need to, to remove that, release, release that so we can fully be in this yang energy, yin energy. The feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information in cues, and the art of conscious allowing. And when this shows up as an abundant prosperity message, it says here, this is a time when the most effective action is to allow others to show you the way forward. So we do see action here, but that's exactly what I said with the hand and the heart. There's someone else coming in or there is divine intervention or a feeling of collaboration. It says, observe their behavior and follow their lead. Your desire to push through must take a backseat for now. And that may be why we seen the emperor card in the beginning of your reading, but he didn't come out because you may be embracing that full emperor energy. But I do feel for you, Taurus, with this being your season, right? May will still be in Taurus season until around the 20, or excuse me, June, so, uh, nope, your season will be over by that time. But I feel like you just got out of your time and you're making some changes here when it comes to your career. But I also feel like there's some really good news coming your way. Collaborate and offer your ideas rather than dictating what must happen. Let others come to you. It's important that they feel that they have power as well. Another meaning is about releasing your need to have things in the form you want. How do you want to feel basking in your success? Now allow the universe to show you the form. Yin is the sign of essence. Things may go more smoothly than you expect. Yeah, I like this. And that's why we're releasing because you may expect, we just talked about that earlier, you may expect worst case scenario because that's what you've gone through, right? But I feel like things are going to speed up for you in um, in a way where things are coming to you. That may be part of that action that we that you need to take here. The protection. Do you have trouble receiving? And I'm going to read you that because we have the fool showing up as crossing the devil here. So do you have trouble because you stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist on being the giver? You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gift, gesture, or offer in equal measure. Open up and let love, life, abundance, and spirit fill you without demand or expectations. Just receive the bounty that is yours. Beautiful. Yeah, and you are going to be receiving some really uh, favorable news is what I'm picking up on here for you with that eight of wands. That's what you're hoping for. That's what you are manifesting. So staying open to best case scenario, right? Instead of feeling like, oh, I'm not going to get that job or I'm just going to be stuck here because you're hanging on to some sort of rigidity or belief system with that king of swords. That could be you uh, saying, you know, is justice going to be served here and just feeling a little bit at times, the king of swords, he gets hung up on a specific belief. And because I was picking up on the moon, you may not even be aware that it is a subconscious belief. But if you feel like you are blocked, make friends with that devil. Dig in a little bit further because it's important to let go of that in order to receive the bounty that is, that is yours, that is coming your way. That's already within your energy field, actually. All right, let's get a message from the spirit animals. And at this time, I just ask Taurus, if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals in your mind's eye. 
Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animal is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be an animal that's crossed over the rainbow bridge, one that you've recently seen in the great outdoors, or a spirit animal totem that's visited through your dreams or meditation. There is no right or wrong answer, Taurus. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway where I pull one winner around the first of each month, all you need to do, Taurus, is drop your power animal in the comment section below and make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, Taurus, we have Fox Spirit showing up right away. Fox spirit. Some of you may be 27 years old. You may be born on the 27th. You may be 59. You may be born on the 20th, the 22nd, or you may be 57. All right. So your first card out is Fox. Think on your feet. Yeah, this is about, you know, logically coming to some sort of solution. We have that King of Swords. You are uh, a very great thinker. I feel like you have a lot of ideas. You want things to be balanced. You believe in fairness and equality. You may even have some strong Libra placements in your chart or you are activated during this Libra in South Node up until January of 2025. But there will be a lot of thinking and decision making, I feel, in the month of June. Next, you have the Dragonfly. Truth transcends illusion, and that's what the devil is. The devil is fear, false evidence appearing real, which can present itself as an illusion. The truth here is something happened to you. Life is happening for you, right? Um, and I feel like you are accepting some energies that have occurred, but I feel like in order to bring balance into your life, they keep highlighting this counseling card. There's either wise counsel coming in, you are the counsel, you may be the one who is speaking up, bringing some sort of balance to play here, uh, or you will be receiving some message, news in the form of a call, in the form of an email, a letter, okay? Maybe even... Maybe even an apology or a new offer, okay? A new offer coming in. But remember, truth transcends illusion. We have squirrel. Believe in yourself. This can also be all of your preparation, your planning, and your hard work paying off, Taurus, in the month of June because you have open to infinite possibilities with the starfish here. The starfish is an excellent energy around possibility, and we see you manifesting with the fool. There is something new coming in here, but you got to believe that it is possible, that you are worth it, because you absolutely are. And then we have dolphin. This and that are true. I am getting some sort of gossipy or uh, people talking. Uh, you may not know what to believe in. That can be that back and forth, but it's about you believing in you, right? Believing in yourself is the energy with the squirrel. So believe in your story. Even if, you know, someone else has a completely different perspective, which most people do, right? I feel like this is about you believing in your skills, your talents, your worth. And if you need to move elsewhere or go elsewhere, then I, I feel like you certainly will here. All right, last but not least, Taurus, let's get a message from your soul's truth and action steps that you can take to help you move forward on your path towards abundance. So we have another card around worth. Do I believe I am worthy? Taurus, you are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. That's a quote by Maya Angelou. And today's soul action, for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? 
And I want you to start saying this mantra, Taurus. I am worthy of it all. Yes, you are. But there's been disappointment here based on people or environmental or whatever this may be, the justice system, some sort of corruption. I feel like something has gone a little bit salty or, you know, something has thrown shade on you in the past and caused some sort of an ending. But I feel like that was then. You don't have to let that that creep in and feel like that's going to happen or be the energy that you have to stay in for, for months on end or years on end. Okay. Uh, focus on what you want, not what you don't want, not the loss, not, you know, the cup spilt. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. That's that scattered energy that I was picking up on as well of fear and of anxiety and of illusion. And maybe that's someone around you as well. It says, most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. That's a quote by Tony Robbins. So for those of you that really want to focus on something, now's your chance. We have the book card. It says paperwork, contracts, learning as you go. You may have a career as a writer. This could be taking a class, education, or law. If you want to go back and be a lawyer or study for something in the legal system or, you know, whatever it may be for you here, focus on that and put an end to negative thinking or lack of self-worth or telling yourself I'm too old or I can't go back to school or I can't start that business. I can't start over. It's surprising to see how many people tell themselves that story because it's much more comfortable, which we've seen in your reading, comfortable to stay where there's possibly no growth. Okay. And spirit is saying, focus on what you want. If you really want this big dream, you got to put in that work. Okay. Work to, and that work in itself, the action could be allowing yourself to receive like that yin energy said, right? Allowing instead of feeling like we have to be moving in this direction. That's the only way that we're going to receive, you know, abundance. And that can be that king of swords here as well. Uh, what you focus on grows today. Ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? It's time to prioritize. And you have a lot of nines here. Again, uh, the nine of cups is the one that you're walking towards. And that is the card of wish fulfillment. It's saying, don't give up. But in order to receive that nine of cups, because that's the hovering energy here and you're reading, that is your wishes. There's a lack of belief that holds you back. It holds you in that stagnant, feared change. If you want something more meaningful, if you want something more fruitful, if you want something more abundant, you must be willing to walk in this direction. That is your right path. And I feel like you know that as well. But that devil energy comes creeping in and that's what keeps you held in this state of limbo. Kind of detouring, going back around. I'm taking one step forward through this portal, but before I can shut the door, I got to step out of it because, because I don't know if I like what's going on over here, right? So, and for some of you that are saying, Melissa, I am ready to walk through this portal, but there's no opportunities opening up then you may want to go back to that energy of the reversal in that yin and see, you know, what is completely possibly blocking you and how you can remove that as well. It's also card two. The two is the high priestess. Some of you may be silencing your own intuition. You may feel like other people have hidden agendas because that had happened to you in the past. And that fear of other people's hidden agendas or the fear of anxiety, that's where you have to accept that, you know, all people aren't going to be who we want them to be, right? Or all situations aren't going to be how we want them. But it doesn't mean that you can't have some wishes that, you, that you've worked towards. And that Nine of Cups is saying, it's possible, it's here, go big. Starfish says the infinite opportunities are open to you at this time. You can walk through the portal. You are protected. You are safe as you do so. And your family is protected and safe here as well. That is what I have for you. If it resonates, please hit that thumbs up, Taurus. I've, I would love for you to drop your power animals in the comment section below the video. And again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. Lots of love.